Hey guys, Keith from Keith Sue Powerless here, and today I just wanted to make a quick video about my experience with Strong Arm Sports. They're a uh, Canadian uh, powerlifting company, supplies uh, lots of different powerlifting equipment. Just want to talk about uh, how I did when I purchased uh, my current uh, setup. Uh, and yeah, so let's just get into it. So first of all, overall, it was a great experience. Uh, Mike from Armstrong Sports was terrific. Uh, I had a lot of pre-questions uh, before I made my purchase and he was great about answering them. Uh, I did manage to stump him on one. I, I was asking him about the uh, size of the bolts that are needed if you want to uh, bolt down the combo rack that I'm currently using. Uh, and he didn't actually quite know the answer. Uh, he guessed and he said he thought it was 10 millimeter and he was right, but I, I did find it amusing that uh, uh, he, he wasn't hundred percent. It is one of the things that is talked about with the uh, combo rack that you can bolt it down. So you can sort of see the bolts right there. Uh, I actually ended up using three eighths inch bolts, but I mean, close enough to 10 millimeter, but uh, yeah, that worked. So overall, like I said, this experience was great. Uh, I live in Vancouver. They're based in Calgary, which is about, a, say, a 12-hour drive uh, through the Rocky Mountains. So uh, I made my order on a Thursday. And uh, on Friday, I got notification that my delivery was going to be uh, picked up and delivered. Uh, the delivery company is a company called Dan Ross, which I believe is only in uh, Canada. Uh, I got a tracking number, uh, and when I put in the tracking number, uh, it just simply said there's no information. And I'm sure, you know, if you guys have done any type of online ordering, uh, you've had the same thing. It's not quite ready, and, and that's fine. So I uh, went through the weekend and uh, kept checking, and it was an update, and it was like, well, it's a weekend. You know, there's no one at the office, so we'll just leave it for now. Uh, on Monday, which is the day that they had originally said in the email it was going to be delivered, nothing happened. And the tracking number still wasn't updated in their system, which I thought was a little unusual, but uh, it was a busy day Monday, and I never called to, to really find out what happened. Um, and then on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday is my one of my workout days, so I went to the local gym that I go to, uh, which is about 15 minutes away. And I was at the gym and I'm working out and my phone rings and it's a Saskatchewan number. Now, if you're not familiar with Canada, uh, getting a call from Saskatchewan uh, when you live in British Columbia and Vancouver like I do kind of like living in California and you get a phone call from Wisconsin and you're like I don't know anybody in Wisconsin so who the heck is this person so I figured it was one of those scams you know there's a warrant out for my arrest or or my taxes were overdue or whatever so I just ignored it um, but then I got another call and then almost immediately I got a text message uh, from this number and uh, it was Dan Ross, and they were like, hey, we're here at your house. We just want to make sure we're at the right place. Uh, you know, what's going on? So I was like, oh, whoa, hang on a sec. So, you know, I was sort of like, I'm really sorry, but you know, uh, the tracking number didn't really give me a definite time we were coming. Uh, I'm 15 minutes away, I'll be there in just a minute. So the guy's like, well, look, you know, if you're gonna be 15 minutes, I'm just gonna quickly do another delivery. There's another one really close by and then I'll come back. And that's what happened. So I got home. And in the meantime, my wife has texted me like, there's a big truck outside. Is this your stuff? And I was like, yes, it is. Just hang on. Anyway, he made the delivery. He came back and uh, dropped off all the stuff. They were great. Uh, you know, uh, put it where I needed and it was all packed up for me. Um, so yeah, it, it was really good. You know, making an order on Thursday, get the stuff on Tuesday. You know, a little confusing with the tracking number, but that's not strong arm's fault, you know. And Dan Ross, the guy, was very apologetic. And he said, yeah, sometimes the system doesn't quite update in time. We're too fast for it. Ha, ha. But uh, that's good. So, um, but yeah, everything came on a pallet. Uh, all the stuff that I ordered. So that's the combo rack. That's the uh, uh, the, the stand, all the weights, uh, the uh, deadlift jack. You can see it there. So everything was uh, nicely packaged in boxes for me. And uh, yeah, uh, overall, it was really, really good. Um, so I unpacked everything, checked it out. Uh, there were a few small quality issues uh, that I just wanted to mention. Uh, so first uh, of all, one of the uprights, I'm just gonna show you here, uh, right there, had a scratch on it, which was weird. Like, I don't know how that scratch got there, but it did. Uh, but I mean, really, it's just superficial. It doesn't really affect anything. Uh, but it was, again, something you just sort of notice and go, that's a little bit weird. 
Um, one of my two and a half kilogram plates. So when they're calibrated plates, they've got plugs on them. I don't know if you can see that. I might just post a picture here. Uh, but you can see they cover the plugs with these uh, little stickers. Uh, one of my plates didn't have any stickers. Oh dear. I mean, really, not a big thing. But again, kind of just one of those things to me to go, that's, that's a little strange. Uh, what else? The only other thing... Oh, two other things. Uh, one, again, just an oddity. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. These are my, I got four 25 kilo ones. And you can just sort of see the paint on this one right here. Just a little bit different than the others. Again, does it affect anything? No. I mean, is it going to be heavier than the others or anything? No. But it was just one of those little oddities that sort of went, eh, yeah, okay, that's strange, but uh, all worked out in the end. Um... The plates themselves are great. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know why they do this with calibrated plates. Uh, the strong arm is not the only company that does this, but they, for some reason, the insides of the plates, they paint them, which is fine. But the trouble is, is that means that on your uh, posts and stuff, the paint just scratches off. I don't know why they don't chrome the insides, but like I said, strong arm is not the only company that does that. Every calibrator plate I've ever seen, Rogue and Alico and all those guys that they have the same issues. So, uh, yeah, again, just a little weird, uh, but I mean, that just seems to be the industry standard. Uh, the one other thing I did want to mention that was a little bit strange is I got, uh, you know, the four reds, and then I got uh, some blues, some yellows, some greens. Uh, everything was color-coded, you know, the way I was expecting. Five kilos were white, two and a half kilos are black. Uh, the 1.25 units, which you can see right there, I was expecting these silver. I think every other company in the world makes them silver. Uh, they're blue. You know, again, does it affect anything? Does it change anything? No, not really. But just, uh, again, something I wanted to uh, to notice and mention. Um, I might actually just repaint them. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that. It's not a big deal. Um, so, uh, yeah. But otherwise, everything was in great shape and, and uh, very easy to assemble. Uh, the bolts that are used on virtually everything is, is the same size, the, the bolts on the deadlift jack and on the base and on the, so, you know, very simple just to have one set of screwdrivers or screwdrivers, set of wrenches to just, uh, uh, do everything like that. Um, so the only other issue I had, and it's not technically an issue because, uh, when I purchased it, it was made very clear, uh, that this was going to happen. Um, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. So the bar that I bought from Strongarm was their uh, their their standard uh, bar, uh, powerlifting bar, 20 kilogram, 29 millimeter. Uh, I got the black zinc one, which uh, you can see here. So the black zinc is good. Now the sleeves on the bar, as you can see, uh, are metal. Normally they are chrome, uh, but in this particular case, the sleeves were not chromed. Uh, they, the, there was a problem at the manufacturing plant. So Mike at Strongarm put this bar on sale with a full disclosure, you know, and, and full credits to him, it was completely disclosed. The, the sleeves may have rust on them, okay? Um, and they do. And, uh, you know, uh, if you look at, the, especially this collar here, right there, you can see there's quite a bit of rust on there, which I've just left. Uh, the one that was a bit disappointing was this one here. You really can't see it anymore because the plates have gone back and forth so much. It's really scrubbed to clean. And I have sanded it down, uh, actually with a wire brush. Uh, but this was quite badly uh, rusted. And I'll probably put a picture up because uh, I, I took a picture of it at the time. Uh, I, you know, I emailed Mike and I sort of said, you know, you did say it was going to be rusted, but that seemed like quite a bit. Um, to which Mike said, yeah, it, it does seem a bit, but it, it'll clean off. Uh, again, does it really affect my use of the bar, my enjoyment of the bar? Not really. Um, you know, you put your hands on the on the black zinc, which uh, is solid. Uh, really love the feel of it. The knurling is very consistent. There, have, there were some reports that sometimes the, the knurling wasn't as consistent as, as uh, other higher-end bars like your Rogue Ohio. I find it to be really good. Um, so yeah, a little disappointment, uh, but again, it was fully disclosed that the bar would have rust on the sleeves and, and, uh, those bars can sold through. So any bar you buy from them now with the black zinc, the, the sleeve should have the chrome on it. So that won't be an issue anymore. So, uh, yeah, 
that was about it. Um, putting it all together, you know, uh, maybe two hours by myself. If I had someone else here, it would have been a little bit quicker. Um, and, you know, obviously doing something for the first time, it, it takes a bit of extra time. But honestly, it went by really quick. Uh, got it up and running, up and running, you know, it's figuratively speaking. Uh, same with the deadlift jack and, and the weight stand. Very quick and easy to, to put up. So uh, really, really good. Uh, I then bolted the unit down. That could probably be a video all by itself. Um, uh, I used uh, T-nuts and some basic screws to do that. Um, but yeah, this thing's not moving <laughs> at all. Uh, it was a bit of a concern because I do work out by myself. And, uh, you know, the, the spotter arms here, uh, which are really face savers for bench press. You know, can they save your butt if you uh, fail a lift and squat? Yeah, but they're really not designed for that. But having the unit bolted down definitely, you know, makes it a lot safer. Um, I haven't failed to squat in here. And honestly, when I, when I do write really heavy squats, I do actually go to a, a local gym that has a proper cage and straps and stuff. So, but still, you know, things happen, you cramp up, you, uh, yeah, you, you, miss a groove and you know you think you're doing a, a weight that you can handle and suddenly you can't you know i at least have that uh, knowledge that the unit is bolted down and, and again it was one of the big things so yeah overall just really wanted to say a big thank you to strong arm uh, for making it a really easy process it was a tremendous great experience again mike is uh, a really solid supporter of the powerlifting community very communicative and uh and supportive and helpful so if you are looking to buy some stuff here in canada definitely give them a, a look and a shout out and support someone uh, local in the community thanks very much if you have any questions or comments leave uh, leave them in the description down below uh, thank you again and we'll catch you next time Bye bye